Welcome everyone to your own channel. ADP for learning. I am your own learning partner come host, Ashish. So, let's begin our learning journey. Today, we are continuing our learning journey about the interactive glossary of genomic and genetic terms. And our motto is, five terms at a time keep the learning in the mind. The first most important term is, copy number variation or CNV. Copy number variation also abbreviated as CNV refers to a circumstance in which the number of copies of a specific segment of DNA varies among different individuals' genomes. The individual variants may be short or include thousands of bases. These structural differences may have come about through duplications, deletions or other changes and can affect long stretches of DNA. Such regions may or may not contain a gene or genes. Changes in the number of copies of small sections of our genomes can have big consequences. One interesting example is a gene called amylase. This gene is important for digesting starchy foods like potatoes or grains. Scientists found copy number variations of the amylase gene in different groups of people. People from places where starchy foods were historically very important usually have more copies of the amylase gene than people from backgrounds where starchy foods were less common. Places where meat and fish were more important parts of the diet relative to starches. This suggests that ancient people who had more copies of the amylase gene were able to get more energy from starchy foods, and so were able to thrive in regions where starchy food sources were important. And perhaps I'll compete people in those regions that had fewer copies of the amylase gene. This is one of many ways copy number variation can have important effects. The second commonly used term is CRISPR. CRISPR is a short form for Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats is a technology that research scientists use to selectively modify the DNA of living organisms. CRISPR was adapted for use in the laboratory from naturally occurring genome editing systems found in bacteria. The technology and the future possibilities were just amazing. This class of enzymes from bacteria has many, many uses, and I thought I'd pick one just for its timeliness. It provided the simple method for detection of COVID ribonucleic acid or RNA without making copies up front or performing gene amplification, or sometimes called PCR. And that's just a nice impactful example of so many places that this discovery has been important. The third term is crossing over. Crossing over, as related to genetics and genomics, refers to the exchange of DNA between paired homologous chromosomes that is one from each parent that occurs during the development of egg and sperm cells that is meiosis. This process results in new combinations of alleles in the gametes, that is egg or sperm formed, which ensures genomic variation in any offspring produced. Crossing over is a cellular process that happens during meiosis when chromosomes of the same type are lined up. When two chromosomes, one from the mother and one from the father, line up, parts of the chromosome can be switched. The two chromosomes contain the same genes, but may have different forms of the genes. The mother's form of a gene, let's say, could be moved to the father's chromosome, and vice versa. This is a very interesting and important biological activity. Different combinations of different gene forms are then potentially passed down to offspring. This genetic variation helps to increase the diversity of a species. And diversity strengthens a species' ability to respond to changing environments over time, and therefore evolve. The fourth most important term is cystic fibrosis or CF. Cystic fibrosis, also abbreviated as CF, is a genetic disorder that causes mucus to build up in certain organs of the body, particularly the lungs and pancreas, resulting in breathing problems, respiratory infections, and faulty digestion. Caused by a mutation in a single gene called CFDR, the disorder is inherited as an autosomal recessive trait, meaning that an affected individual inherits two mutated copies of the gene, one from each parent. In the past, CF was almost always fatal in childhood. Today, however, with improvements in screening and treatments, individuals with CF may live into their 30s or 40s, or even longer. Cystic fibrosis, as a disease entity, is best thought of as a gene that causes multiple different conditions. For example, as time has progressed we have learned that patients that have mutations or changes in the CFTR gene can have, for example, GI disease or liver disease when they are babies and then develop some of the more typical, classic lung disease later in childhood, and beyond. However, it has also been recognized that different changes in the CFTR gene can contribute to other phenotypes, such as male infertility. For this reason, CFTR has been thought of as a single gene that causes multiple diseases. The fifth and last term of today's learning video is cytogenetics. 
Cytogenetics is a branch of biology focused on the study of chromosomes and their inheritance, especially as applied to medical genetics. Chromosomes are microscopic structures containing DNA that reside within the nucleus of a cell. During cell division, these structures become condensed and are visible with a microscope. Special staining techniques can be used to assess the number and structure of a person's chromosomes as part of diagnostic testing. The number and or structure of chromosomes is known to be altered in certain genetic diseases. Cytogenetics is the study of chromosomes in any species. Chromosomes are structures of DNA strands and protein that contain most of the genetic information in a cell. We can visualize chromosomes in metaphase during the cell cycle. Cytogenetics refers to the study of tissue, blood, blood marrow, or culture cells in a laboratory, using banding or manipulating techniques to look for changes in the chromosomes, including broken, missing, rearranged, or extra chromosomes. Changes in the chromosomes may be a sign of a genetic disease or condition. Cytogenetics may be used to help diagnose, plan a treatment, or find out how well a treatment is working. Thank you for joining with me for the amazing journey of learning. In the future, we will again meet with other new, innovative topics. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment.